Welcome back to Peter and Ruffy Sports Week. From football, we switch to boxing. And I'm delighted to see we've got two extra guests in the studio with us now. Uh, from the St Andrews Sporting Club, Ian McLeod, and a man who's going to be top of the bill <laughs> on the 24th of November. It is Scott, the title taker, Alan. I hope I've got that. Uh, I hope I've got your uh, name completely correct. I like confident names and title taker. What was the inspiration behind that before you even started? Did the boxing? Just I'm going to take everybody's title. Simple as. I'm going to be the best. So, bottom line, that's that's it. But the title taker, the titles just keep on coming. Well, let's bring it my way. We, <laughs> <laughs> we, we <laughs> let's do it. I, I love that. I love yeah, that right. confidence, Robbie. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine you had that confidence when you were at this? Yeah, one? yeah bring on Brazil. <laughs> come on, <laughs> bring you go. We'll pay you. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, uh, you know, the, the, the key issue here is, um, you know, the backstory for me is interesting um, because uh, you've been in, you were in kickboxing and decided to, you know, change code. Why? I mean, what, what, what was it about kickboxing? You thought, no, enough is enough. Uh, I became a two time professional kickboxing world champion, uh, bantamweight, super bantamweight, and it became a point where I'd beaten everybody that I had to beat, and I wasn't getting recognised as much as what I should have been. Uh, so I switched over for for global fame and bigger paychecks. Yeah. Simple bottom line. Is that right? I, I mean, from I mean, it's getting uh, kickboxing is getting bigger though. I mean, is there a, is there a temptation or are you thinking no boxing? It is. Nah, always? nah, definitely. I've set my mind on becoming again uh, a two-time professional boxing world champion, and I'm not going to stop until I achieve my goal. Uh, I don't care how long it takes me. I've done it in one sport. I set out. I'm going to be a world champion. I said no. I'll do it again. I won another world title. I'm going to do the exact same in boxing. Uh, taking one fight at a time and moving on bigger and better. Yeah. I, I still I still teach the kickboxing. I keep, teach kickboxing every day, but boxing's where boxing's where my, my heart lies at the moment. Yeah, Ian, we talk about um, boxing champions, uh, big fights. <coughs> Each each fight, you have to have that type of confidence. You've got to have that belief in yourself. Yeah, definitely. Uh, adds. If you get that bit of confidence, it, it gives you that wee added edge when you're um, in your, you know, if you're having a press conferences and then you're head to head with your, your opponent, you know, that, that certainly that aura you give off, it, it strikes a bit of fear into the opponent as well. Yeah, well, you know, keep everybody up to speed on it, Scott. I mean, from your point of view, you're now coming up against a guy um, in Scott McCormick. You've, you've, you've fought him twice before. What, what's, the, what's the backstory to this? Uh, the backstory. Uh, I fought him. First time I fought him, uh, I just came back from Vegas. Uh, wasn't he training? Uh, and the fight scored a draw. Uh, personally, in my opinion, the, the kid kind of lays my boots. Uh, he's not good enough to be in the same ring as me. Uh, the second time I fought him was for the Scottish title, uh, and, and I schooled him. Well, he couldn't get near me. I think at one point I actually let him hit me. So I, I felt bad. to said, "I can't throw you punch and let me hit you." Right, my turn to take him back over now. So. Uh, it's good and it's exciting, so I'm going to fight him again and put it to bed. And after this, I'm going to sit and tap my mantelpiece and just say, right, you stay there until I'm ready to take you back out. Yeah. And that's, and that's it. Yeah, it's, it's a bit like the World Cup, Rob. If you win it, if you, if you win it, if you win it three times, you get to keep them, you know. Um, I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure Scott sees it slightly differently, um, but nevertheless, it was ten rounds the last time. Ten rounds, um, yeah. Again, this, this could go the distance. Um, or, or are you confident that now the training, the levels, the commitment that you need to show that this could, this could um, maybe be slightly shorter. There is, there is different leagues and levels. Uh, at the moment, I'm, I'm leagues above them. But as Ruffy said, it's like Ruffy playing for Partick, Partick Thistle in Brazil. I'm yeah. Brazil right now and he's Partick Thistle. So yeah. the chances are of him beating me are none. Yeah. Not even got to say slim, there's just none. Yeah. There's no way I've got the, the perfect confidence in this fight and overrule it and hopefully force a stoppage. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, uh, we wish you the, the very best of luck on that. Did you, I mean, I, I just need to ask you this just as a side issue. Uh, you know, obviously uh, Christmas is coming up. If you lost at Monopoly or Kerplunk, did you throw a hissy fit and go back up to your room? I'm worried, I'm worried, I'm worried about any kind of a defeat you've ever had as a kid. Well, no, I'm undefeated now. Uh, even, even Monopoly, that's it. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm just... <laughs> confident enough. No, I'm very confident. So confident has to be the key, especially in this industry. Like you can't be, you can't get in a fight thinking doubtful or anything like it. I'm going in there and I'm winning. I don't care. Regardless, 
what he does. I'm not worried about what he's going to do. He needs to be worried what I'm going to do to him. I'm going to lay him out like a buffet. And, and, and the one other thing that I was going to say to you, and, uh, you know, I've had a few buffets in my time, but um, <laughs> one other thing I was going to say to you is explain your style to us, because obviously kickboxing is you know, a different sport. This one, um, boxing, from, from our point of view, are you a cautious fighter? Are you attack-minded? What, what's, your, what's your normal strategy when, when the fight fans are coming to the St Andrews Sporting Club to see you? I'm a, a very aggressive counter-puncher. Uh, I like Stepman. I like Noban Hat. Uh, I enjoy he's been punched in the face, yeah. Jesus. Uh, so I'm, I'm an aggressive counter fighter. I like to press my attack and f force my opponents on the back foot, make them miss, slip and counter them, working inside, plenty of shots to the body, and working me back up to the head. So it's very clean and clinical performance. Yeah, well, I, I'll tell you, you know, I'll be there on the night with you, you yourself, and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, November 24th, don't forget, fight night back on uh, <coughs> STB Glasgow, STB Edinburgh. Um, Ian, there are other fights on the card as well. Yeah, we've got Kieran Smith, who will be the first fight on the night. Uh, Kieran is a great prospect. Just come off a great win there uh, on the undercard to Ricky Burns when he, he won his world title. Uh, an 18 second knockout he had over his opponent. So, um, hoping for great things for, for Kieran. Uh, we've also got Gary Ray, uh, bantamweight, super bantamweight, um, who's making his pro debut on the night. Um, he's from Barhead. Um, then we've got Ian Malarvey, who, professional um, nine years ago, was the last time he fought. Um, went to America with Stan Hoffman, and um, was managed originally by uh, Tommy Gilmer. Um, and he's stepping back in the ring um, on the 24th for his first comeback fight. So looking, looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, one other little footnote to this. Uh, of course, um, we were there for the sad loss of uh, Mike Towell. There will be a tribute on the night to him as well, which I think it'll be an emotional night as well. Yeah, well, Mike was a great servant to the club. He uh, fought a number of times there. Very exciting fighter. Um, I, I was a big fan. Um, I used to go and watch Mike sparring all the time because he was so exciting. Um, him and Chris Carslow used to have some great span sessions. Um, so we're, we're, we're paying tribute to Mike, a uh, celebration of his life, and we've got to do some fundraising for Chloe and Rocco on the evening. Yeah, uh, well done uh, to the St Andrews Sporting Club for that. <coughs> um, just before you go, um, Scott, I've got to ask you, I mean, do you have heroes? As, are there boxers out there that have inspired you? Um, you know, when you, when you were maybe a kid that you thought, oh, it's not, you know, I love this sport, I want to I want to get into it because of a certain individual. My childhood hero in the boxing has to be Ricky Hatton. But the fan base he followed... It was just absolutely amazing. My dream for, for me personally, uh, I'd love to fill Fir Park. I'm a Motherwell fan, so I'd love to fill Fir Park. Oh, the team can't even date themselves now, Jesus, yeah. but I would love to fill Fir Park, uh, something like Ricky Hatton, uh, and following sort of his, his path, if you must. Uh, so Ricky Hatton for me is a hero in my eyes. The top man. Uh, um, do you have a, do you have a Motherwell <coughs> football hero as well? Favourite, favourite player, the, the, all the players in Motherwell are, are amazing for me. Um, my favourite football player is Stevie Hamill for, for Motherwell. Yeah. Uh, as a mascot, yes. I must have been about four or five as a mascot for Motherwell, so I've followed Motherwell a season tick holder all my days, so I'd love to fill the stadium one day in my, in my own career, fighting for the world title, hopefully live on. All TV channels yeah. worldwide. Yeah. So, aye. Well, listen, I'll tell you, you know, from from everyone here in Sports Week, we hope you do that. And it's good to have a hero, especially a really old footballer like Stevie Hamill as well. That's, <laughs> that's great. That'll be doing well, Ruffy. <laughs> Nothing like following Stevie for a goal every season. <laughs> well, let's, let's, hope, let's don't, hope you don't pick up as many injuries as he picks no, up. No, definitely not. <laughs> that'll, get back, that'll get back to him as well, Ruffy, I have to tell you. Um, and, and good. <laughs> Ruffy, I was, I'm delighted you said Ricky Hatton. Uh, <laughs> Did you see the papers this morning? He was uh, uh, Ricky Hatton was out with his mates, <laughs> dressed up yeah. as Jerry Halliwell. <laughs> um, you know, if you become a champion, please, Scott, <laughs> do not do not dress up in a Union Jack dress. He didn't look the prettiest of boxers, but, but nevertheless, he was a fantastic boxer in his time. We wish you uh, the very best, um, Ruffy. We can get you along to that boxing night. It's going to be it's going to be uh, blistering with uh, Scott there, the title taker. Yeah, I enjoyed. I was there the last uh, meeting. It was great. You know, really exciting. It's a great buzz, uh, and everybody enjoys herself going along. 
there. It's mm -hmm. super entertainment. Yeah, I just, just can't handle them hitting each other. Yeah, it looks absolutely. sore. <laughs> just, a, yeah, just a minor technicality on the score. But listen, uh, Scott, the very best of luck to uh, Scott the title taker, Alan. It's as simple as that. It should be a fantastic night of boxing. November 24th, keep it in mind, we'll be on STV Edinburgh and STV Glasgow as well. That's just about it. Thanks to Ian McLeod as well. From Ruffy and myself, join us tomorrow on the programme because uh, Peter and Ruffy's Saturday football show, 2 till 6, will take you through the best of the football north and south of the border. If you can join us then, STV Edinburgh, STV Glasgow. Good night. <laughs>